The Marlin Huff Barn was built between 1785 and 1795 in New Windsor, Maryland. Marlin Huff, who passed away in 2004, wanted this piece of history to be preserved, so he donated it to the Carroll County Farm Museum in Westminster. In 2008, the building was dismantled and reconstructed at the Carroll County Farm Museum to preserve the unusual feature of this barn, the fact that it is made of 50-foot hewn logs. My name's Ken Coons, and normally I'm on the other side of the camera. But this time, the Community Media Center in Carroll County asked me and my friend Ted McNett to demonstrate how to hew a log the way it was done when the Huff Barn was built. So we had to go in search of a log and we were fortunate enough to be able to demonstrate hewing at Hashua Environmental Center in Carroll County and we found a log that had already fallen so we didn't have to kill a tree for this demonstration. The first thing we did was pull out the two-man crosscut saw and buck the log into lengths very pleasant work using a two-man cross-cut saw, but you have to be able to work together. We used a log carrier to haul the log out of the woods and down to the Martin cabin, but in the 1700s they probably used oxen or horses. Then we hammered in a pair of log dogs, which are basically just big iron staples and they help hold the log in place while you're hewing it. You don't want it to roll on you. You could slip and hurt yourself. Then we used a barking spud to remove the bark from the log. This log had been on the ground for a while, so the bark just peeled right off. Normally you'd cut the wood in the summertime so that the bark would come off easier. Then using a plumb bob and a charcoal line, we marked the log so we knew where to hew to, hew to the line as they say. Today you use chalk lines but in those days you would spread charcoal and some string and then that charcoal you would transfer it to the log by stretching the string down the length of the log, making sure the line is where you want it. and then by snapping it against the wood it leaves the line with the charcoal. Then we start our hewing. Using axes we cut notches in the log about every six to eight inches apart. All these little notches make it easier to split off the pieces in between. And coming down the length of the log, we use that, an axe and we just pop those little sections right off. And this leaves us with a very rough surface. So we use an as, which is basically an axe turned sideways, to chop down the length of the log to help smooth that roughness out of there. Here Ted keeps his foot in the air, so if the as should pop off or, or graze off the log, it won't cut into his foot. It'll just hit the bottom of his sole. Then we come along with a broad axe, and this is a big, large axe. It's only beveled on one side. It's a very wide blade, and this gives us a smooth finish. In many of the old hewing, that's the last step where you go through and smooth it up with a broad axe hew right down to the line and gives you a big broad smooth finish with not too many tool marks. But in our case we do one more step after that. We check to make sure it's straight with the charcoal line. Then we pop out the log dogs and turn the log back up so that it's flat in the air. And then we use a tool that's called a draw knife. It's a sharpened chisel-like tool that you pull towards you and this just smooths out all the imperfections and all of the rough spots left over from the other tools. 
It's the finishing tool. And it leaves you with a nice, smooth surface and helps even up any of the places that the axe has missed. The old tool marks can always be seen on the old logs. You can see them here on the Huff Barn. Done back in the 1700s, they've stood the test of time. And the Farm Museum in Carroll County will now be able to preserve this barn, hopefully, for hundreds of years to come.